Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today we're getting into some new, brand new uh, work from home opportunities and roles. I hope you guys love these videos and we're just gonna hop right into it. So the very first one that we're gonna go into is the Marriott. And um, please make sure you guys get on this website and just look over some of the roles. So the role that I'm going to be talking about today is the quality assurance specialist role. Here is the job number. Um, it is in reservations and it is fully work from home. Okay. It is a full-time position is non-management. So within this role, you would actually be working with the e-commerce team um, and the corporate digital team to really make sure that their website is up to par, is visually nice and a appealing for people when they want to come on to Marriott to book reservations. So they want to make sure that, that that process to book a reservation is seamless. It's appealing to the eye to make you um, want to look at the rooms like the photos and everything else really is visually appealing. And um, you'll be doing like some testing, device testing. You'll be working with um, the digital team to produce and create new digital channels and things of that nature to really enhance their e-commerce platform uh, so that it's more of a customer friendly platform. So this position does pay depending on where you are, it does pay different rates. So California residents, uh, the pay range is from $20 to um, $28. Colorado applicants, the pay range or put for this position is $20.50 per hour. New York, Westchester County and New York applicants, the pay range is from $20.50 cents to $28.70 per hour. Washington applicants, um, their pay range is $20 to 50 cents to $28.70 per hour. And employees will accrue um, 0.46.16 PTO balance for every hour worked and are eligible to receive minimum of seven holidays annually. Um, so that is phenomenal. You automatically start accruing your PTO the minute that you're there. And then you also get the benefits of being with the platinum company, right? Which is the medical, the dental, visual, the health, the health plan, the health care spending account, um, dependent care spending account, life insurance, disability, accident insurance, short term disability, stuff like that. Um, adoption, expense reimbursement, paid parental leave, education assistant, 401. 401k plan um, stock purchase and that's awesome I always love when a company gives you a part of it you are in the game so I love companies that offer stock purchases to their employees because a lot of times you get it at a discount for what versus what the company is trading for on the actual market and you have a piece of the pie I love companies that do this um, you get discounted Marriott stays on the property which is a plus, a plus, a plus, a plus, commuter benefits, employee assistant plan. It's a slew of different benefits. So definitely, if you're interested in this job role, get over here and apply. You know, these things go very quickly. Like I said before, here is the job ID number. Um, get over here and apply. I will have the link as well in the description. So don't miss out on this. I'm telling y'all, get here and get it done, okay? The next opportunity that I'm going to go to is through CVS Health, which is also like an Aetna. Aetna was purchased by CVS. So if you're not aware of Aetna, Aetna is one of the um, major insurance brands, companies, health insurance companies. So um, this is through C CVS, but it is on the Aetna Medicare care management team and um, or Medicaid, I'm sorry, Medicaid care management team. So what you would mainly be doing is um, answering members questions regarding their Medicaid benefits, you might have to do what needs to be done or transfer them to another department to get enrolled in Medicare, Medicaid benefits. And Medicaid is different than Medicare. Medicaid is like your state funded government um, issued 
medical assistance, which is for like um, people that are disabled and things of that nature. Medicare is more for our elders and retired people. So keep that in mind. You will be working with people of all different backgrounds. Um, with this role, Medicaid um, is a different beast. So they do train you. One thing that is phenomenal, as I always say about the insurance, the, the insurance industry is that they do train their people really, really well. So a lot of times you, when you first get hired, they will take you through a training for weeks at hand to get you trained on their products, the products that you need to be trained on to be able to answer the questions that you're going to get and solution of cause very efficiently okay so don't worry about if you don't know anything about insurance they do train really really well so this role like i said you will be on the um customer management team customer care team for the medicaid product um and this you will just be answering benefit questions um basically solution and calls and things of that nature this role does pay the minimum is $18.50. The maximum is $34.60. So this is really, really a good role. Of course, um, a lot of the higher rates is normally based on experience. However, I will say, as I always say, anything Anything when it comes to jobs is negotiable. You can always negotiate your salary. You can always negotiate more time off like PTO time, sick time. You can always negotiate if they have stock purchasing, you can negotiate more of that. So there are, there's always room to negotiate. Never sell yourself for less. Definitely get in there and negotiate your worth. Okay. I'm all for it. Just do it in a very professional way. And a lot of times you will get what you want or something really they will come up and and you know y'all will y'all will get at a happy medium with things so definitely speak up for yourself try to negotiate for um different roles now the requirements are they just really want you to be you to have good communication skills know how to just type um because you will have to like put notes in accounts and things of that nature they want to make sure that you're up to par with that that you can move through screens really well, those type of things. So those are the basic requirements. They do prefer, and remember, preferred is just something that they prefer, but it's not something that's actually needed, okay? And they do prefer someone that has maybe two to four years of experience, but you don't have to have it. Remember that um, someone who's experienced with Microsoft Word, Outlook and Excel. And like I said, they just want to see and know that, you know, the basics of entering data, moving through screens and things like that, because they do provide you with a lot of different systems that you that, that house different things that they might need you to navigate between. So they want to make sure that you have some type of understanding of the computer and using just basic software like Microsoft. Okay. Um, it would be a plus if you were familiar with medical terminology. If you're not, they will train you. Like all of this is fully trainable. Um, they, they do have flexibility with working occasional nights and weekends outside of standard time. So, you know, if that's something that you um are okay with definitely hop on this and the educational requirement is they just want to make sure you have a high school diploma or ged or something equivalent right so they just want to make sure you kind of finish majority of those school years and um you know, if you feel that you're that you're a good fit for this role, get over here and apply. This is just some information about Aetna. And like I said, Aetna um, and CVS merged together. So Aetna is a part of the CVS health brand now. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in this role, get over here and definitely apply. This is the job number here. It is in customer service and it's a fully remote role. So don't miss out on it, you guys. You know, I try to come through and give y'all exactly what you need to get the job that will best work with your lifestyle. So definitely make sure you get over here and apply if this is something that you feel is a good fit. The next one is um, better health. This is more of a supervisory role. This is more of like a leadership role. It's a team lead, remote uh, advocate role it is for member success so it is 
dealing with members and doing more of that customer service based work. So with this role, you will be managing a remote team. You'll be working remotely, working from home, and you'll be managing team members that also work from home. You will be managing 12 to 15 team members. They will be looking at, in this role, um, just quality review. You will be reviewing the quality of the services that are provided you will be reviewing any issues that members had inquiries things of that nature um they do expect you and your team just to be able to answer about 200 member inquiries per week but you'll have a team of people your work schedule will be determined based on the business need so if you're flexible and you have had leadership roles in the past or you have had to be a team player you have had to take some authority at work prior to this role this will be great for you and they do have here that some weekends may be required okay so keep that in mind when applying for this role it is a leadership role it's fully remote you will be manning people so you will be having leadership of people's schedules and things of that nature the, there is a little flexibility with scheduling, but it's more so worked around the work schedule that they need you to be there. So keep that in mind. And weekends, there may be some weekends that you do have to work. So some of the things that they look at, and you can look at this further, is just making sure that you're reaching out to members to try. If if they left the platform for some reason, you're reaching out to them to try to get them back to the platform, things of that nature. I have seen where they've done this via like email so i don't think it's a lot of calls it's more so email interacting electronically okay for this role so the requirements are that just for a year that you led a team of 15 people right but this it might what if it's not 15 people you can still put your leadership role and responsibilities on the resume that does not necessarily just disqualify you right you could have needed to lead a team or you could have been a team player or you could have had to had a team project that is all leadership responsibilities and you need to put that into your resume because a lot of recruiters do also look at that they might not see people that have 15 people under them but they might look and say oh okay they have this person does have a lot of leadership experience we're going to actually bring them in for an interview so i don't want you to get tied up on that part of it or the numbers if you have leadership experience put it on your resume and apply for the role so the benefits, some of the benefits that they do offer is a competitive salary, health, dental, and vision, 401k benefits, um, perks like therapy, Uber Eats, things of that nature, remote work with a regular inpatient bounding experience sponsored by the company. Okay. Um, they do have offices that you can go into if you want. So they have a slew of different things, employee stock purchasing um programs y'all know i am all for the stock right so that is wonderful the base salary for this position is fifty five thousand to seventy five thousand which is pretty good you guys for the benefits that you're going to get it's all work from home it's not a whole lot of phone either it's like a basically a no phone opportunity and role you'll be doing more um more so like chats and emails and those types of things in this role and you'll be manning other people so this is phenomenal if you're looking to get into leadership or if you already have some leadership skills and you've done some some leadership role responsibility things this would be phenomenal for you to apply for it um, if you're looking for something of this nature so as you know i'm always coming through with the best okay work from home opportunities and just opportunities in general giving you guys options for your careers and options with your money okay so definitely if you like videos like this and also if you're into managing your money better and budgeting make sure you subscribe to the channel i will be back weekly with videos like this until next time see you in the next one bye